Hello everyone! Welcome back to another video. This week we're going to be doing a casual let's play video. I've never done one of these before, but I have not gotten to play on my Switch all week, so I thought today we could go around and just visit some of my villagers give a couple gifts out. Um, first thing we're gonna do is change my outfit and then possibly a little bit of island cleanup and then we'll end the video with our Saturday performance by KK. So it should be a fun time. Let's go ahead and wake up and pick out our outfit for the day. I am thinking something casual. I'll probably keep my bow and my glasses and probably my shoes. I just like those three things and I don't want to change them, but I think I have a shirt in mind. I was kind of thinking about this shirt. I love these shirts and it matches my island pretty perfectly right now. And then my favorite jeans are the ripped ones so i think we'll go with this and then i'm gonna change my hair back to my bun i had this ponytail going on for the wedding event because i was performing as britney spears so we need to switch back to our normal hair look at us we're so cute ready to go so i think the first thing i'm gonna do is go give murphy his fossil because i'm trying to get his picture and i have been definitely slacking on giving him his gifts so we're gonna start out by doing that oh i have a fossil right outside my front door is that a fossil please tell me i didn't bury something here it is all right We'll try to find our fossils and we'll take those to Blathers. I'll probably do some flower cleanup because this is getting out of hand and they're now overflowing from my beaches onto the rest of my island and I'm not happy about that. I can't believe there's two fossils up here. Jackpot. Okay, let's get these. Then we're gonna go find Murphy. We're not gonna forget not gonna get sidetracked i don't even know how those got up there i mean obviously they do populate on cliffs but it's weird that they've populated up there on that one tiny cliff all right murphy might be home he is yes Ooh, and he's a fossil outside his house too we're gonna find them all quickly look at him a little businessman how cute i love murphy i love his house and he calls me subscriber now him and ruby both just we're really excited about that you know you don't need some cockamamie reason to come talk to old murphy right i'm sorry murphy i know i've been not visiting very often i feel bad about it but here i brought you a present this should make you feel a little better have this fossil I don't even know what fossil it is. He seems okay with that. He'll gladly take it off my hands. And he's gonna give us a viking helmet in return. How kind! Thanks Murphy, it was nice to see you. And I think before we head to the museum, I will check the shops out since I haven't got to shop all week long. We need to see if there's anything good in there. I don't have turnips. I didn't buy any or I would check the price, but 
I don't have any to sell, so no reason to make myself sad if I by chance have a high turn up price. Hello, Timmy. Hello, Tommy. Do we need any of this? I kind of like that violin, but I think I have it cataloged, so I'm not going to buy it right now. And it's probably really expensive. Let's check the cabinet. I always check the wallpaper and flooring, but I hardly ever decorate my house, so it's almost not worth it. I'm pretty sure I have this one. I don't think I have this one, so I'm gonna buy that. Is there any good flooring? No, I think I have all the ones that I like out of these options, so we'll go to the Abel Sisters next. man all those flowers are like duplicating off to the right side we're definitely gonna have to do some flower cleanup it's getting a little out of hand hello let me just run in here and see what you got does anybody else get like super offended that she chases you around the shop i feel like she thinks i'm stealing it hurts my feelings a little I like this pajama dress. I don't have any pajamas really, and I need more. So we're gonna buy that. And I don't think I like anything else, so we're just gonna go with that. But we're not gonna wear it out. I'm not gonna run around in our jammies. Thanks, bye. I think I also want to maybe pick out a cute outfit to give to Callie. I, Callie and Annalise, I haven't really gifted anything to, so I would like to pick something out for them. Let's take these flowers up. Uh, that cricket is about to fall in that hole barely escaped with his life. You guys will have to let me know in the comments how you feel about flowers growing so rapidly sometimes. I think it's obviously a good thing that the flowers grow, otherwise we wouldn't be able to get the hybrid flowers and you would just be stuck with however many flowers you planted, but sometimes they get a little out of hand and I wish I could stop that from happening. Most of the ones that are getting a little crazy are up here. So we're gonna dig these up. We're gonna leave one white rose back here because it was specially placed there and I won't uproot it. But we will remove the purple one. We don't need those. I honestly don't even know where these came from. I don't know how these got up here. I have no memory of planting these. And I guarantee you my pockets are going to be full. Far before I finish digging these up. There we go. Right on cue. Couldn't have said that at a better time. But honestly, when are my pockets not full? I'm not even going to bother putting these on my beaches because I'm getting to the point where I probably need to clean all the flowers off my beaches. But I'm dreading it. So we're just going to sell these. Do you guys store your flowers on your beaches or do you 
organize them on your island? Or do you keep extra flowers or do you just automatically sell them? I'm very curious because I originally planned to be very organized and it never happens. We're just gonna sell that one clump of weeds. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of these DIYs too. I don't need them. So, thanks. We're gonna speed on back. You know, Ellie is, I don't talk to Ellie a whole lot, but she has gotta be one of the cutest villagers on my island. Everything that I gift her, she looks adorable in and she just walks around like the cutest little elephant carrying her little shopping bag sometimes and i just love her seriously where did all of these roses come from I also need to sell all those bushes. I have plenty in my storage if I need to plant some, so I'm probably gonna dig those up too. So I think we're gonna go into super speed mode. I'll play some music for you guys, and I'm gonna just speed dig all this stuff up, and then we'll come back and do a few more fun things. All right, now that we are done cleaning up the majority of the flowers, let's head to my house and see if we can find a outfit to give to Callie and possibly one for Annalise too. I don't know if I have anything that's gonna look really cute on them, but we'll try to find something. I've given Callie one 
pink little dress, I think, and she doesn't wear it. Even though it looks really cute on her, she did not care for it. And then Annalise is going to have a little beach house, so I think something summery would be really cute on her. I'm honestly kind of liking this little crop top here, so we might grab that and we'll see what else we have. I think Callie would look really cute in this. Yes, okay, let's give Callie this little cardigan. Let's keep looking for Annalise, but I think that little crop top would be a good choice. But we might have some sort of cute dress to give her. I don't really like the colors of these for her. Um... This is kind of cute, but I don't think it- I think this would match Callie better than it would Annalise, so we're gonna skip that. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with the little crop top for Annalise and the cardigan for Callie. So let's go find them and see if they like- their outfits and if they actually look good on them or if I'm going to make them look horrible based off my poor judgment. Hopefully Annalise is home. She is! Look at that look! Didn't even have to search for her. But I bet Callie's not home though. She's probably off wandering around. Look at her! She's so pretty! She's not even a cute villager. She's like a beautiful villager. Hey, can I give you something? Okay, I thought that I hadn't spoken to her enough to give her a present yet and I was gonna be so sad. She's pretty new though, so I wouldn't have doubted it. Try it on! Look at her! So cute! I like that. She looks cute in that. I love when the villagers wear the little crop tops. I love it. I'm glad we picked that. All right. Goodbye, Annalise. Let's go find Callie. And then after we find Callie, we'll head to the museum and donate our fossils. Hopefully we can donate them. I still haven't finished my fossil collection yet, so surely blathers will be able to take something that i have look at there's a bee there's a, look at the little bee going flower shopping helping keep this place alive oh we got another fossil perfect timing thank you that's probably the last one I don't ever know how many fossils there actually should be. Look, Callie's in her house too. Dang, nobody's out and about today. Ooh, she's crafting. What are you making? Oh well, she forgot. Me too, Callie, me too. What are you doing? A pansy table. I think I might already know how to make that. Yep, I do. They never give me new DIYs. It makes me so sad. But sure, I'll go ahead and take that from you. Thank you. Very helpful. Now can you stop because I have a present? I think it's funny when they like keep turning around and you keep talking to them because I feel like they would in real life get like very annoyed at the fact that they have to keep stopping their project to talk to you. Try it on, try it on. <gasps> That's so cute. Okay, if you have Callie on your island, it's now a rule that you have to give them the green clover, clover cardigan. I can't remember what it was called. Ooh, she's giving me a striped halter dress. 
Wait, I just realized Annalise didn't even give me anything back. How rude. I thought they always gave items back. She was like, oh, thanks, bye. Nothing for you. Okay, let's head to the museum. See if Blathers will take some of these fossils we found. We get to walk through our newly decorated museum. Don't mind all the empty spaces still. Look how cute! I'm still obsessed with this. There's a lot of dirt, which I was on the fence about, but I love it so far. The turkey day garden stands next to the museum with the butterflies on top is by far my favorite part of the whole build. It's so cute. They match perfectly. Excuse me, Blathers, it's the middle of the day. Can you please wake up? You're trying to run a museum here. It's not nap time. I just need to get these fossils assessed. <gasps> yes, there's something he can take. Thank goodness. I want to finish my fossils. I don't hardly donate anything else to the museum because I hardly fish and I hardly catch bugs but I do dig my fossils up and the fact that I still am not done with my fossil collection is kind of sad. Ooh, he can take two. Please have these. Thanks, Blathers. I appreciate your help. That's all I need though. And we'll go sell the other ones. No need to keep them. I might try to get more of my villagers photos, but for now I think I'm just focusing on Murphy, so I'm fine to sell these fossils. I can always get more later if I decide to get somebody else's. We do not want these flowers here. Nope, nope. No yellow, no purple. I honestly don't even want the green mums anymore. I started out this island thinking I was gonna have pretty much just green mums everywhere and now I only want the white mums. But I have been collecting the green mums so I feel bad throwing them out. So if I've planted them, I'm just deciding to leave them for now, and who knows, we may go back and take them out, but I'm trying to fight that. Let's sell some more. You can have these flowers, that, and these fossils. There you go. Dang, we're making a decent amount of bells selling all this stuff. Okay, what do we want to do next? I think I just want to go say hi to some of my villagers. I really want to see Hammy. Okay, this is a mess. <laughs> we're gonna probably clean this up real quick, actually. I forgot these were all here. I apparently just dumped my pockets out here which is not uncommon. Also, there's flowers growing in the back. Hopefully you guys don't mind all the cleanup. I didn't expect to have this much, but you know, we're just gonna go with it. This is what normally happens when I go to play my game. I don't actually do a whole lot. I just run around until I find things that I need to pick up or until I get motivated to decorate an area. Which next area that I'll probably be decorating is going to be Murphy's yard. We're going to give him his honey farm finally. I just need to make sure that I have and can craft all the items that I need for that before we attempt it. 
Also, if you guys are wondering where I got all of these butterflies, check out um, By The Nook on Instagram. They can pretty much get you anything that you would ever need for the game. Materials, decor, DIYs, bells, Nook Miles tickets, literally anything. I've gotten Nook Miles tickets from them before too, and they gifted me these butterflies, so I'm excited to use these literally all over my island. That's actually why Blathers got such a butterfly infested museum area because how could you not use all of those? I bet my storage is gonna be so full soon. I just keep jamming stuff there and forgetting about it. I also really need to decorate up here in like my yard, but I just have no idea what I want to do there yet. So if you guys have ideas, let me know in the comments below what you think would look good there. I've been struggling with that area the most, I think, but eventually we'll get there. We'll get something going there. I'm trying really hard to have this island finished before fall because I want to change themes, but I refuse to do it before I actually fully finish this island because I did not do that with Dollywood and I regretted it. Look, there he is! And he's wearing his little sweater that matches him. Look at him! I love my nickname from Hamfrey. He was the first one to give me a nickname and he picked Peanut and I just think it's so cute. <laughs> they <laughs> that weren't on purpose, were it? Okay, Hamfrey. <laughs> that that wasn't a proper sentence, but alright. I love you anyway. What have you been up to, Hammy? want to hear about the best walking route you can take. Sure you do. Let me see. On a day like this, it's perfect weather for taking a stroll along the beach. All right, Hammy. Thank you for that advice. Truly appreciate it. Let's uh, go see if Lolly's home. I feel so bad because I think it's the placement of Lolly's house. I just kind of forget she's there. And I forget to go say hi to her, and it makes me really sad because she's one of my favorite villagers, but I have hardly spoken to her since I started this island. And I feel like I'm probably hurting her feelings. But look how cute she is! And she calls me Pumpkin, which is just perfect. It has been ages, Lolly, I'm so sorry. Wait, has that always been a futon over there? I am pretty sure that there used to be a bed here. And I know I've gifted her this little mug and clothes, but I don't know where the heck she got this futon. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Obviously, this isn't like her house. She is one of my starter villagers. But I'm still so confused right now. Lolly, are you redecorating? Just on your own? I'll have to look that up, what that house is supposed to look like, because I don't think that's correct. But I could be wrong, honestly. I saw a purple flower in the campsite. I'm gonna dig that up real quick. Oh my gosh, these flowers. Got kind of out of hand. Not too bad, I guess. But we don't want that there. Let's put our mushroom parasol back. Cute. Much better. The white flowers can stay, I guess. 
it, it's okay if the campsite gets a little overgrown. Let's go talk to Ruby real quick. And, oh no! I'm gonna have to put a custom design here or something. These are, this is gonna keep happening with my little lavender field. Hammy is an avid flower waterer, so with him around, they will grow. Another fossil? Oh my gosh, we had six fossils? I'll have to go take that to Blathers real quick. Ellie's down there watching KK. Let's see if Ruby is home. Right here? Ruby? Hello! She's watering her flowers! She does like taking care of her garden. And she also calls me subscriber. Living on this island is so fab. I mean, I'm basically the queen bee. Okay, Ruby. That's where you're wrong. L literally, look who you're talking to. How dare you say that? Like learning new stuff, <laughs> but what if I become so good, I have to go pro and then my whole life changes. I don't think it's that serious, Ruby, but you know, if you want to pick up a new hobby, you go for it. Nobody's stopping you. Blathers, I'm back. Nope, sorry, I have- you have to assess these first. That's my mistake, sir. Just one this time. It was a surprise fossil. We weren't expecting it. We already have one. Oh no! No, that's all I needed. Okay, we're gonna run and sell this fossil, and then I am actually going to take a little break, and we're gonna come back when it's time for KK to perform. I have recently started actually trying to log in on Saturday nights and watch KK's performance so that I can get a new song, so I'm trying to collect them all. I have a very small collection so far but i'm doing my best to get as many as i can so we'll sell this and then i will see you guys back when it's dark which will be like two seconds for you guys dang that was a that was a pricey fossil all right I will see you guys back after 6 o'clock and we will head over to the KK concert. Alright everybody, we are back. It's almost 6.30. It's not dark yet, which is exciting. It's normally super dark out when I get on for KK's performance, but look at little Hammy walking around the flower shop. He's hiding right now, but I just had to show you guys this screen because he is just adorable whenever he peeks out from behind this tree and is wandering around. But let's get back into it. Let's go visit KK, see what he's gonna perform tonight. Let me know in the comments below if you guys log in to watch KK's performance every Saturday. Because that's something I didn't do when I first got the game, but now 
I really love it and Allie really loves it. She does it on her island sometimes like three or four times in a row. I'll just hear KK performing and she's just sitting there jamming out to his music. Let's say hello to Bones real quick. Bones, hello! I know you've been on this island somewhere, Shauna, but I couldn't find you. I'm sorry, Bones. I even stood outside your house for a whole day, except for when I had to go to the bathroom. That reminds me of the Spongebob episode where he's like, what do you do when I'm not here? And it's like, wait for you to come back. That's Bones waiting for me and I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry, Bones. I didn't mean to hurt you or abandon you. I'm back. I promise I'll play more. Oh no, am I gonna be the only one at this concert? What the heck? Hello, KK. I am hip to a song tonight. Let's hear it. Let's go with... I'll leave it up to him. I change it up every time. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling this tonight. Let's let KK decide. All right, we're gonna take a seat and see what KK picked. Who's in the mood for a little KK jazz? All right, I'm gonna be quiet and we will just enjoy this performance together. That was so beautiful. I loved it. Let me know also in the comments. You guys are gonna have to leave a bunch of comments in response to all my questions this video. Let me know what your favorite KK song is in the comments below. I don't think I know my favorite yet. I haven't honestly heard that many, but I'm making it my goal to collect them all so that I can pick a favorite. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while we ran around, played, 
cleaned up. I hope this was something you guys enjoyed watching. If you did like this kind of video, leave a comment below or give the video a thumbs up so I know if I should keep making these or not. It's definitely not something I'm used to doing, but if you guys enjoy them, I don't mind throwing them into the mix of Sunday videos. And I will see you guys again on Monday night if you're a part of the members for that stream. And if not, then I will see you guys again on Thursday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Thank you guys again for joining and I will see you later. Goodbye!